The Ivor Whitefelt class frigates stand as the cornerstone of the Royal Danish Navy's modern surface fleet, embodying a blend of cost-effective design, advanced technology, and operational versatility. Named after the 17th century Danish naval hero Ivor Whitefelt, this class of three air defense frigates, HDMS Ivor Whitefelt, HDMS Peter Willemus, and HDMS Niels Juel was conceived to replace the aging Niels Juel class corvettes and elevate Denmark's maritime presence on the global stage. With a construction cost of approximately $325 million per ship, these frigates leverage a hull design derived from the Absalon class support ships, incorporating stealth features and the innovative Stanflex modular mission system. Measuring 138.7 meters in length, and displacing 6,645 tons. Each vessel is powered by four MTU-20 Vol 8,000 M70 diesel engines in a CODAD configuration, achieving speeds over 28 knots and a range of 9,000 nautical miles. The frigate's advanced sensor suite, including the Thales Smart-L long-range radar and APAR multifunction radar, paired with a robust armament of evolved Sea Sparrow missiles, Standard Missile 2, SM-2, and soon the Naval Strike Missile, NSM, positions them as formidable multi-role platforms. As of March 2025, these ships are undergoing significant upgrades, reflecting Denmark's commitment to maintaining a competitive naval force within NATO. The procurement of the Ivor Whitefelt class frigates marked the Royal Danish Navy's largest acquisition project, driven by the Danish Defense Acquisition and Logistics Organization, DALO. To optimize costs, the project capitalized on Denmark's modular shipbuilding expertise, reusing components from decommissioned Niels Jewel class corvettes and Fly Fisken class patrol vessels. Construction was outsourced strategically. Steel blocks were fabricated in Estonia and Lithuania, then assembled at Denmark's Odense Steel Shipyard. The keel laying began with Ivor Huitfeldt in June 2008 followed by Peter Willemos in March 2009 and Niels Ewell in December 2009. Deliveries unfolded over several years, with Ivor Huitfeldt launched in March 2010 and commissioned in January 2012, Peter Willemos delivered in June 2011 and commissioned in 2013, and Niels Ewell delivered in late 2014. This phased approach allowed for rigorous testing and system integration with final outfitting at Naval Station Corsor. A pivotal enhancement came on March 6, 2025, when Delo signed a 179 million contract with Norway's Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace for the Naval Strike Missile, a precision-guided, long-range anti-ship missile set to replace the aging Harpoon Block II system, signaling a major leap in offensive capability. The role of the Ivor Huitfeldt class frigates centers on air defense, underpinned by their advanced AAW suite shared with the Dutch De Zeven Provincian class and German Saxon class frigates. Their armament includes a 24 cell Mark 41 VLS for SM2 and ESSM missiles, an Odo Malara 76 mm super rapido gun, recently upgraded on Ivor Huitfeldt, an Orlikon Millennium 35 mm close in weapon system, and Eurotorp MU 90 torpedoes. The Stanflex system, with slots for six modular payloads, offers flexibility for anti-submarine warfare, maritime interdiction, and surface warfare, though their primary focus remains missile defense over the Absalon class's support functions. The NSM, with a range exceeding 200 kilometers and a stealthy flight profile, will enhance their ability to strike high-value targets such as enemy ships or coastal installations with pinpoint accuracy. This upgrade, facilitated through a government-to-government -government deal with Norway, aligns Denmark with 13 other nations employing the NSM, including NATO allies like Norway, Germany, and the US, reinforcing its interoperability and strategic strike potential. Deployments of the Ivor Whitfeld class reflect Denmark's shift from coastal defense to blue water operations. Ivor Whitfeld supported NATO's Operation Ocean Shield in 2013 off the Horn of Africa, demonstrating its endurance. While in 2020, it joined Operation Agenor in the Arabian Sea to ensure freedom of navigation. 
More recently, in 2024, Ivor Whitfeld deployed to the Red Sea under Operation Prosperity Guardian, departing Corsor on January 29th to counter Houthi threats. Niels Juel test-fired an SM-2 missile in May 2022 off Norway, a milestone for Denmark's long-range missile capability, while Peter Willemos completed the British FOSS test in 2015. Recent operations, particularly in the Red Sea, underscore both strengths and challenges. On March 9, 2024, Ivor Huitfeldt downed four Houthi drones but faced a 30-minute ESSM launcher failure and premature detonation of 50% of its 76mm shells, issues that prompted its early return and an ongoing investigation. By March 14, 2025, the ship was observed with a new Super Rapido gun, suggesting remedial action. Compared to regional competitors, the Ivor Huitfeldt class holds a unique position. Norway's Fritjof Nansen class frigates, also equipped with NSM since their inception, share a similar anti-ship focus but prioritize ASW with towed sonar arrays, an area where the Danish ships are less specialized without additional Stanflex modules. Sweden's Visby class corvettes, while stealthier and optimized for littoral operations, lack the air defense range and blue water endurance of the Ivor Huitfeldt class. Germany's Saxon class frigates, with comparable AW systems, boast greater displacement with 5,800 tons and crew capacity, but come at a higher cost, estimated at over $1 billion per ship. The Danish frigate's cost efficiency, achieved through modular design and COTS technology, sets them apart though their Red Sea performance revealed reliability gaps not yet evident in these piers. Overall, the Ivor Heitfeld class frigates offer Denmark a versatile, cost-effective platform that balances advanced air defense with emerging strike capabilities via the NSM. Their procurement and delivery showcase innovative shipbuilding, while deployments highlight a growing NATO role, tempered by operational hiccups in 2024. Against regional competitors, they excel in affordability and flexibility, though their technical challenges suggest a need for sustained investment in reliability. As the NSM integration progresses, these frigates are poised to strengthen Denmark's maritime deterrence, ensuring relevance in an evolving threat landscape as of March 2025.